Welcome to our service for this Wednesday in the first week of Lent. Everything you can find for the service can be found in the Book of Common Prayer or in our bulletins. Uh, and if you're with us online, we have the links to everything you need uh, in the description for this video. So please stand and we'll begin our service together. Bless the Lord who forgiveth all our sins. Mercy is Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are heard, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through what our Lord Jesus Christ saith, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Bless us, O God, in this holy season, which our hearts seek thy help and healing. And so purify us by thy discipline, that we may grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. When the crowds were increasing, Jesus began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the people of Nineveh, so the Son of Man will be to this generation. The queen of the south will rise at the judgment with people of this generation and condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to listen to the wisdom of Solomon. And see, something greater than Solomon is here. The people of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the proclamation of Jonah. And see, Something greater than Jonah is here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. It's interesting enough that we have Jonah mentioned today because we talked about Jonah in Sunday's Christian formation. In that conversation, we talked about how Jonah, in going to the Ninevites, was going out and prophesying to his enemies, to the enemies of Israel, really. And in Jonah's prophecy, God wasn't offering redemption to the Ninevites. God instead was foretelling destruction. And when the Ninevites heard what God had to say, they went in the morning. They repented from their previous ways. And even though God hadn't offered it, God still provided salvation. Now, Jesus, as we hear in the gospel today, is greater than Jonah. So if the Ninevites, who got a prophet that was so unwilling to go to them, 
that he had to be swallowed up by a great fish or whale and spit up on the shore of Nineveh just so he could do what God was telling him to do. If the Ninevites with all that were able to listen, how much more should we listen who have Jesus, a very willing, very perfect means and messenger for us, for God? Now, the people Jesus is speaking to in the gospel reading today clearly were not ready to listen. The people who put Jesus to death weren't willing to listen either. There are many still in our world who won't listen, who won't follow the example of the Ninevites in hearing what it is that God has to say. We must ask ourselves, are we willing to listen to Jesus now? the sign of our continual turning to God and our fasting in Lent, we will now, all standing, say together the words of our faith in the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory, to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord to come. Amen. We continue our service now with the prayers of the people, Form 3. Father, we pray to thy holy Catholic Church that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church be truly and humbly serving. That thy name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, 
priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of thy word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern in both authority and the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in thy sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest, let life perpetual shine upon them. We pray thee for thy saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in thy heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Pray for Stephen, Veronica. Lord, hear the prayers of thy people, and what we have asked for faithfully, grant that we may obtain effectually, for the glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, at this time, I invite any who wish to come uh, for the laying on of hands and anointing to do so at our altar. Savior of the world, by thy cross and precious blood, thou hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Lord, I lay my hands upon thee, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, beseeching him to uphold thee and fill thee with his grace, that thou might know the healing power of his love. And I anoint thee with this oil in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. As thou art outwardly anointed with this holy oil, so may our Heavenly Father grant thee the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. Of his great mercy may he forgive thee thy sins, release thee from suffering, and restore thee to wholeness and strength. May he deliver thee from all evil, preserve thee in all goodness, and bring thee to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth bow and obey, be now and evermore our defense. Make us know and feel that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Peace to the Lord be always with you. And peace to those who are with us online. As we continue our service with Eucharistic Prayer 1 on page 333 in the Book of Common Prayer. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God.
Once again, our service continues with Eucharistic Prayer 1, found on page 333 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very neat, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was in every way tempted as we are, yet did not sin, by whose grace we are able to triumph over every evil, and to live no longer unto ourselves, but unto him who died for us and rose again. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all of them, Lord, and magnify thy glorious name, and evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For the thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. And may there be as one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. And did institute it in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. When the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance. Of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks. For the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. We most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness much safe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. We earnestly desire that fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We we'll humbly beseech thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all of thy holy church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and loving sacrifice unto thee. Humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, avoiding our merits, pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. And now, as your Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover once for all is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. O Lamb of God, take us away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, take us away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, take us away the sins of the world. Grant Grant us thy peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. By Christ's bread. Our service now continues with the post-communion prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee, for that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries, for the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members of the corporate in the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord shine the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.